All right guys, I just got out of the water and we found some great stuff. Let's go and check it out. I'm gonna start things off with my favorite find of the day. And I was gonna open this up on camera, but I accidentally dropped it on my way back to the truck. And I found like an old cashier's box, but it was just nothing but slime and mud and just rust. But uh, maybe at one point there was stuff in there and it fell out, but really awesome find to find like an old cashier's box, man. I was so stoked for a second. I thought I found a bunch of money. <laughs> my second favorite find of the day is definitely this old fishing pole. I told you guys once before, I love finding these things, man. Even though they're like super old and you can't use them ever again, it's just a blast finding a fishing pole. And I always wonder like how they lost the fishing poles in the river. And this is like a little kid's fishing pole. So probably just dropped it overboard, but pretty cool. I found an old torpedo leveler. I didn't know that's how you actually pronounce this, but I just asked someone over here on the river walk. But this thing is super old and rusty, but what's crazy is that it still works, man. So that's really cool. All right, so this is another weird find. It's like a Mickey Mouse uh, thing you hook up to your hose. I think it shoots out water, but it just looks very eerie and kind of creepy when I found it. And uh, I thought I'd get it out of the river. It's totally trash, so I go ahead and throw it away. Ended up finding a couple fishing lures as well. I'm gonna start off with my favorite one. This is an old swim bait, and I guarantee at one point this was pretty expensive, but it's now like an old sponge. This is way too far gone to ever use again, but at one point, I guarantee this lure right here is pretty expensive. I uh, found a spark plug. This is a really awesome lure. This is an old green crankbait, and if you put some new hooks on this thing, you can definitely reuse it. This is a pretty weird find. My first thought was like, why would you bring nail clippers to the river? But then the more I thought about it, they probably just use these to cut your fishing line and uh, just found a pair of nail clippers out here. I found this little toy car out there. I found a rattle trap. This is probably one of my best lures I found the entire day. There's no rust on this thing, so the guy must have just lost it, but I could definitely reuse this one. So these are the typical lures you find out here in a river, and they're just swim baits and flukes, but they're all old and moldy. But as usual, I found a handful of these. This is a pretty cool find. I found this old broken off knife, and it was just a blade sticking straight up in the sand. And it actually broke off when I had it in my bag, but could you imagine if you stepped on that? So I always get these out of the river. I don't want anyone to ever step on them. Found two spinner baits. This one's way too far gone. Everything's rusted off. But this one right here, 
it looks like it's in okay condition. I could put like a blade on this and you can definitely reuse it. So if you guys are new, you might not know that this is actually the world's largest urban whitewater course ever built. And thousands of people go down this every single year and that's why this river has so much stuff in it. There's a huge rapid right in front of me and every single day people wipe out on it and they lose all kinds of valuables. So it just kind of replenishes every single day. The sun's setting on me right now. It's getting really cold. We didn't find too much crazy cool stuff, but I mean, that little cashier box was awesome and it could have been a gold mine. I honestly think if I spend more time down the river to look for treasure, I feel like I can find something amazing. And I'm actually gonna go out there this weekend with my kayak. I'll probably bring treasure along too. But man, I seriously think uh, there's something good down there and I'm gonna give it a try again. But treasure and I had a really good day out here. Oh gosh. And uh, I'll bring her out here next weekend as well and uh, she's like my little good luck charm and thank you guys so much again for three million subscribers that's seriously insane you guys have changed my life and i can't thank you guys enough but without you guys support i wouldn't have treasure i wouldn't have this lifestyle and i truly appreciate every single one of you guys so thank you so much again for three million subscribers and uh, who knows man we're gonna shoot for 10 million one day i think it'd be crazy to get that diamond play button <laughs> hey guys Thank you, man. I appreciate it. He said he watches my YouTube channel and said, congrats on three million. Hey, Treasure. We got some fans over there, Treasure. Oh, <laughs> treasure, you got another fan over there. <laughs> See you, buddy. That's awesome. Treasure, you're getting famous. Treasure's had a blast the entire day. She's been running around nonstop and exploring, so I'm so happy I brought her down today. And she's still at it, man. But I have to bring her to dry land very soon. That water's rising. Well, look at her go. <laughs> oh man. Oh she oh she just killed a butterfly. <laughs>